Hi, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's video, I'd like to look at uh, scanning and uh, uh, looking at end of day uh, US stock data in MT Predictor 7.5, which is what I've got here. So, first, I'm going to connect to our uh, a Metastock <coughs> end of day uh, data source that I've set up earlier. So, I'll just do that. We're now connected to that. That means MT Predictor can read the data files off our hard drive. So the first thing to do <coughs> is to run a scan. So for this, let's open up a scanner. There's the scanner open. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. And I'm now going to scan a folder. The folder I'm going to choose is uh, actually the uh, NASDAQ 100. So I've got a folder with the NASDAQ 100 stocks in. I'm going to scan this on a daily basis. So this is end of day meta stock data. And as you can see, <coughs> it's zipping through really quickly scanning all those data files and there we go it's now finished <clears throat> so what do I do now well here's all the individual stocks listed so I want to have a look at uh, setups so for this I'm going to go along to our trade setups column and I'm just going to click on the header to sort this and as you can see MT predictor has now found a number of setups um, so let's uh, open up one of these charts so for this I'll highlight the row right mouse click and do new chart and there's the chart opened up there as well. So I just want to go through and show you how I um, basically prioritize the setups and which ones are the best. So as you can see, there's quite a number here to look at. So what I'll actually do in our scanner, which is a very neat uh, trick, what I'll do is select these ones by holding the, uh, the shift key down and selecting them. I'll then right mouse click and I'll link them all to a specific color. So in other words, in the scanner, if I scroll across, they're all linked to a specific color. Now, why do I do that? Well, the reason I do that is if I come across to the chart, like I have here, I can link the chart to the same color. So that allows me to then <clears throat> go into the scanner and just literally by one click, clicking on a different uh, um, row there, and it changes the chart next to, <coughs> next to us there as well. So I'll just make that a little bit smaller. And you can even use the up and down arrows. So in other words, you can skip through and it will basically load the chart and then you can review each chart individually to see uh, to see how they're coming in. So I just want to have a look and show you um, how I decide which setups to take. When you're a new trader with MT Predictor, we go on our STF color, which is our uh, red, blue and black indicator here. But when you're more experienced, we tend to look at the higher time frames. So in other words, I'm looking to <coughs> uh, go through these individually <coughs> and then once I've seen one I particularly like, let's say for example this particular stock and you see we had a DP sell a couple of days ago so actually this would have actually come up a couple of days ago but I'm just doing the video today so what I'd do is I'd look at this and say right uh, on this the day of the setup what's the larger degree trend so for this I'd go to the higher time frame chart and uh, we made that an e easy and empty predictor in that you can select uh, a weekly chart or you can build a weekly chart off your daily data so we'll go to weekly and there's our weekly uh, chart. So what do I do for this? I go back to the prior swing pivot. You can see there's our prior swing pivot high. Right mouse click, put the decision point level on. And that would be an area of where there's weekly de decision point resistance. In other words, where an area where we're likely to have a weekly high. So what am I looking for? If I go back to the daily chart, I'm now looking for a trade setup that falls at or in line with our weekly support and resistance. So can you see here how this daily DP cell fell at weekly resistance? So in other words, this would be a good one to take. If I place the analysis on at the first target, that would be a 2.2R potential profit. A bit more experience on this will then allow you to also look at, um, see if there are any other patterns going up into that high. So I can look at Elliott Wave Intermediate and I can see that actually was a, a five wave swing up into there. And I know that uh, from our experience that after a completed five wave sequence, the market will go down to the DP from the prior wave four, which is our first target there. If this succeeded and you want a slightly longer term um, trade, you'd place the DP off the start of the sequence, which is down here and grab and drag and potentially a target of down here. <clears throat> so this would be a good trade setup to take on this particular uh, US stock uh, because mainly the um, daily setup fell in line with the uh, weekly analysis. Another one that I like the look of as well is if I just scroll through here and I can see there's a TS1 cell here. Now yes this would be against a blue STF but how does this fall in with our weekly analysis? <clears throat> 
Well, let's go up to our weekly chart. You can see we had another swing pivot high here. Let's right mouse click, put the DP on there, and as you can see, the high as of this week came right into that weekly decision point resistance. If I go down to the daily chart, you can see it even clearer. There's the high of what day is that? <clears throat> That's actually the 28th of November, was actually right at our weekly DP resistance. Now we had an initial decline down, an initial rally back up here. So on this particular day, which was the 30th of December, if I right mouse click, put the analysis on, this would be what we call our holy grail um, trade setup. In other words, higher time frame resistance, initial decline down, a initial correction back up. We're now looking for this to go not to our first target, but to at least our typical way 3 WPT. So this actually would be my favorite trade setup here on this uh, daily chart because uh, it was a holy grail trade, which is one of my favorite trades, but fits in beautifully with the weekly high there as well. So that would be my initial target there. If you want a slightly longer <coughs> target, I'll go out to the weekly chart again. There's the last swing into the high. We'd come down to the weekly low here off this October low. Place the weekly DP support on there. And then when we go back to our daily chart, there's our weekly support. So if we get down to the typical wave 3 WPT here, we can make a decision to either bank a 7-hour profit or we could look to perhaps have a slightly longer target out here, which would mean the profit would be uh, nearer 11 times the initial risk. But do you all see how um, this setup was a good setup because it fell in line with the higher time frame analysis? In other words, what I do is I come in here to the scanner, I do a scan to have a look at any particular daily setups. I then go through these using link charts to see <coughs> which patterns look good. I then uh, go out to the weekly chart to see whether we are either at weekly su uh, support or resistance. And as you can see on this particular stock, we're at a weekly high. So <coughs> weekly resistance at our, if I clear this off again, at our, D, our DP cell. Sorry, I just took the weekly DP off there. I'll put that back on. There's our weekly uh, resistance, but the weekly resistance, or the, the daily sell signal came in at weekly resistance, and on this TS1 sell here, we had our weekly resistance up there, and as such, the larger trend was now down, and therefore this TS1 sell was a good one to take. So hopefully this has been a good video to show you how we uh, approach end of day trading using daily uh, data files in Metastock format on, uh, on your PC with trying to uh, look at those with uh, <coughs> identifying the best candidates to take. It's exactly the same approach we, uh, we use in our um, training webinars uh, where we look at uh, three and five minute e-mini charts with the 15 minute for tr uh, trend. We do exactly the same approach on the daily charts here. In other words, we scan our uh, data files to look for daily setups. We then check those against uh, the weekly trend. In other words, using the higher time frame uh, weekly DP support and resistance areas to gauge the higher time frame, frame trend and then look to trade in the direction of the trend. So exactly the same procedure whether you're trading daily charts uh, and weekly for trend or whether you're doing intraday short term charts. So what we can do in a couple of weeks time we can come back and perhaps I'll do another video in two or three weeks time to see how these particular uh, markets uh, have actually fared. I mean my favorite ones is this particular stock uh, which is MYL and we had another one that I was looking at there which is CMCSK. So they're the two that I'd probably like out of those. We'll come back in a few weeks' time and see how these have unfolded.